Hey everyone, my name is Adam and I'm going to do our We Pray video for today, which will focus on the future generation. Now, this is something I'm really excited to pray about today with you because as you can see behind me, uh, my wife and I are excitedly awaiting the arrival of our first child. So praying for the next generation has become something that is really relevant in our home over these last few months as we've been getting ready and getting ourselves all set to welcome the newest addition to our family. Today I'm going to start by reading a passage from 1 Timothy 4 and verse 12. And it says, Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. So let's take some time now and pray for the next generation. Dear Heavenly Father, we are so thankful that you are continuing to work in our world and you continue to work in and through all those who believe in you. Lord, we pray for the next generation. We pray for those kids that are growing up hearing your word and living in the world that they are currently living in, Lord, whether it's at school, at work, home or in the playground, Lord, they are having so many things just bombarded at them. And Lord, we pray that as they get to just experience life, that you continue to speak in and through them, that you give them the guidance and the wisdom to just strive for the things that they're passionate about, the things that you've laid on their heart, the gifts and talents that you've given them. We pray that they continue to use those gifts to honor you, Lord. And we pray that as this next generation is growing up in the church, that they are wonderful examples of you, that through their speech, through their actions, through their words, through their decision making, all things are done with a biblical worldview and done in a way that just honors and glorifies you. So, Lord, we pray that you just continue to work in those lives of uh, the next generation, Lord. That you'll just continue to build them up, teach them, allow the influences in their life to teach them who you are, Lord. So we just pray and continue for your Holy Spirit to work in and through them as they look to be great examples of all the things that you call us to be. And we just pray this in your most heavenly name. In Jesus' name we say, amen. Church, thank you so much for joining me for We Pray today. And we'll be back next week on Wednesday with our next video. Have a great day.